I have something I want to tell you. What's good? Welcome to Plus Size Mother 4. Um, we're gonna switch it up today. We're gonna do something a little different. And I've been seeing a lot of um makeup people or gurus, whatever you want to call them. I'm not one of them. I just am a girl that likes to do makeup and I'm just I just so happen to be good at it. Anywho, that's not what this video is about. This video is about my story. Um this story is really funny. It's a lot of people that are probably gonna watch this and be like, oh my god, I remember that. But uh this girl I used to go to school with, her name's Shaniqua. And we was talking about this not too long ago. She was like, yeah, remember the time you beat up? I, I, and I'm just like, oh my god, here we go. But, well, let me show you. Let me tell you what I'm talking about. Um, I want to say I was in 8th eighth, eighth grade. Was I in 8th grade or 9th grade? No, I was in ninth grade. And I went to, I went to a school called Harlem Village Academy. Um, it's a charter school, you know, I was, a, I was a smart kid, and I still am a smart, beautiful young lady. Back then, I was a A-plus student, I did what the hell I had to do, that's how I got into that school. Let's just, let me just give you a little quick fun fact about me. Um, I started in that school in 8th grade. Everybody that started in that school started from 5th grade. So, me just coming in as a new girl, they're like, okay, well, who is this girl, you know, everybody growing up with each other, I'm like the new kid on the block, right? Another fun fact, I was left back when I was in 8th grade because I'm just a popular kid and people just tend to draw to me more. People talk to me and I just get distracted really easily. So that being said, I, yeah, I was left back in 8th grade. That's how I met Shaniqua and them. That's how we became like close or whatever. Let's come to show, that's just a little bit of information on, I guess, like the backstory of the story. Anywho, or how I got into this situation in the first place, actually. Um, so again, let's reiterate, we're back in ninth grade. Um, I've made a whole new bunch of friends. Again, I'm still popular, still being distracted, not learning my lesson. But, we'll get into that. So, you know, it comes a day in every girl's life where, well, I don't know. I'm just a super, oh my god, I have to save my friends. I don't know what it is. I don't know why God made me like this. God just made me with a good heart. Like, so one day, I would say this boy was a total idiot. Like, class, nobody liked him. Classes, he was just annoying. Like, he was just, oh, you make you, he's like a fly. You just want to just, ch, ch, kill him. Like, he was just annoying. So, me being who I am, I just wasn't with it. Like, I would say, I would say stuff about it. Like, yo, you got to chill. Like, can you just. You know, like one of those. Like, um, now remember we back in ninth grade, so you know we wasn't cursing and going all crazy, but we was still, you know, talking a little reckless. So one day he just so happy. I don't, to be honest, I don't completely remember how we got into the situation. All I know is after you know a while of this boy being an idiot and being extra and being so annoying, him and this other girl that was in my class named Shantiqua. Got into a little altercation. Now, boop, 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 rewind. Before we get into the altercation, let's talk about the day. So, as you know, like I said before, you know, I was one of the popular kids. So, when you leave in school, because they, my school used to have, like, after school programs. And they used to send us to, like, the YMCA, the gym, and shit like that after school. Like, mandatory. So, me being one of the popular kids, we used to walk from my school to the YMCA. So, I'm with the gang. He just, over there with his... We woke up, whatever, we go to YMCA, we having a good gym day. Shit lit, it's not, you, you know, it's YMCA gym. Like, nobody wants to be there. As you can see, it didn't work because I'm still fat. But, hey, push get a shove. Him and Shantiqua are getting into it during gym. But nobody's really like, okay, well, let me not say nobody's paying attention. But we just like, okay, whatever, it'll pass. <laughs> we was wrong. <laughs> Seriously wrong. We leave the YMCA, everything's calm, cool, collect. This boy steps outside. You know how boys get. They with their boys. They start acting all cute. I never let's 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 get this clear. Boys that disrespect girls, boys that put their hands on girls, 
you're not cool. You'll never be cool. Like, nobody's down. Hashtag, you can't sit with us. Nobody fucks with y'all. But anyway, um, we go outside. Him, he started disrespecting Shane Tequa. They're going at it. So now, I'm just that person. I'm not going to let nobody disrespect no, you, not one of my people. On my brandy love and hip hop shit. Not one of my people. You're not going to disrespect nobody that I love or that I care about around me. So they arguing. Now I'm, she a tequa goon. So I let her handle her business. You know they arguing with the case may be. Push going to shove again. This is ninth grade so I'm not completely sure on the story. All I know is. I think he popped on her and broke her glasses or something. Somehow, some way she hit the floor. He starts kicking her or stomping her or something. The boys are like cheering him on. So, from what she, Shaniqua told me, she tells me that I slowly but surely, boop, boop, nobody's watching me but her. Slowly but surely, keep, 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 taking my jacket off. I take my jacket off, I get my book back to her, and I pops on him. Pink, 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 like, really though. She like, no, boo, no. We're like, what's up? So now I'm like, oh, get, go get your sister. This and third. Calm the down real quick. <sighs> Breathe. <laughs> I was getting into, into the story. So I'm like, go get your sister. Da, 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 da. Now, what happened the next day? Well, no. What happened the day after the next day after that? We were not expecting. Of course, you know, I come home and I tell my father, like, listen, the boy, you know, I got to the location instead of third. I wanted him not going to school the next day. Now, you got to remember, like I said before, if you were paying attention in the beginning of the story, I went to a charter school. A school that if you do not show up to school, they call every day. Not just, okay, well, after a week we give up. No, no, no. They call every day, make home visits, send letters, send emails, text messages, birds with letters on the wings, everything. Like, these people do not play. <laughs> like, really. Even if I came to school six hours late, they was like, come to school. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, that memory is just so real. But yeah, so. Damn, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah. So, um, me and this boy got into it. I come home and I tell my dad about the situation. I don't, I want him not going to school the next day. And everybody's hit me up like, yo, Pooh, what happened to you? Why you ain't coming to school? Like, cops came to the school. Cops came to the school? For who? They like, oh, the cops came to the school looking for you. Nigga, demons and his mom press charges on you. They trying to. Oh, really? So now. I didn't know whether to be scared. I didn't know whether to be hype. I didn't know whether to. Be, I didn't know what to be because it's like, oh, I just beat this boy up. But then now the cops are looking for me. So, the like, I don't want to go to jail. I'm in ninth grade. Like, who? No, don't take me. I was finna cry. So of course, you know, my parents is not gonna let me miss another day of school. We go to school. Well, I go to school. After the altercation, they wound up saying, oh, that I had to go to the precinct. Now, the part that I forgot to tell you earlier was the fight was down the block from the precinct that they had took us to. So, I could have got caught up right then and there, but thank God, I didn't, you know. So, they wound up taking us to the precinct. Oh, the mom wanted to press charges on you. So, my father was breaking into the lady like, your son wanted to press charges on my daughter. That he should be embarrassed. You really sitting here coming to me, like, he really coming for the lady, like, you sitting here coming to me telling me that y'all gonna press charges on my daughter because my daughter beat your son ass? Bitch, you sound crazy. That's something you should keep to yourself. <laughs> you feel me? So, um, after all that, <sighs> you know, everything calms down. Me and this boy, we, we try to stay clear of each other. I still don't like him, so, you know, I'm still ones and twos in it. Now, special edition part two to the story. We're in math class. I think it was Mr. Lupinacci's class. Um, and me and him all day, nonstop, going at it, going at it, going at it, going at it. So, sorry, let me sip my tea. Don't mind my cup, because this cup helps me measure how much water I drink. Okay. Anyway. So we in Mr. Lubinacci's class, and it just so happens to be Wacky Tacky Day. So you know I got my bitch my socks on, my my spin, my love, uh, what's that thing? My um suspenders on, and now we outside. At this point, somebody done already beat this boy ass again because he got a cane. Not this is like months after my ass open from the first one. 
this wacky tacky day, this boy's walking outside. It was a school, it was a park right next, because my school was in other schools. So it was like one big school with like three different schools in it. And then it was a park right next to my school. So we used to all, after school, we all go to the park, whatever case may be. Me and this boy, we still, we still arguing as we get outside. Um, he like, oh yeah, I'm going to hit you with my cane. Try me, bitch. I was waiting for him to hit me with that cane. So I'm like, okay, so hit me with the cane. What's up? Hit me with the cane. So now I'm like, okay, now me and him already got static. And you know me and him is not supposed to be even in contact with each other. But since you want to play these games, because uh, ain't no hole in my blood, we keep going back and forth. So tell me why I show you think reflexes and I don't sleep. He swings the cane, so I crack him. You stupid? You stupid? Like... When I say I ragtag drag this boy up and down 7th Avenue, matter of fact, it wasn't even up and down between 7th and 8th, I smoked him. I'm talking about like flipped him over the flipped him over the car and threw him in the garbage and sent him home with a cookie. Gift wrap that bitch. Now, so after I humiliate this boy for a second time, after I beat his ass for a second time, Everybody was mad at me for this part of the story, but I don't care. My, my hands and my pockets. And I was like, all right, well, since you feel like I beat your ass, how about you get your head, get your head back? So I'm telling you, this boy, the distance from the camera and me is the distance that me and him were at the moment. I'm like, yo, so hit me. What's up? Hit me. Hit me. He like, oh, I'm not going to hit you. Fuck out of my... Cool. So then I'm like, all right, so there's no need for us to even be going at it. So now I'm like, let me get up out of here because I already know that me and him getting into it, they're going to call the cops. Now, somebody must have went in that building and told them and Maris Watkins was out there getting it on with Nicodemus Cruz. When I say every teacher that I fucked with was outside, they was outside. Like, they had Nick. Now, oh, I almost said his name. <laughs> they had that boy. Now, he wasn't acting static until the teachers came and physically, Mr. George and whoever, had to physically pick this boy up and drag him over now because he's going crazy. Now, Mr. George asks him, like, so why you wasn't acting like that when she was in your face? He's like, no, because y'all came and y'all grabbed me. And I'm just like, ugh. So, since I hadn't got away at that point, they tell me, okay, now you have to come to school. Even though it wasn't it was after school hours, the school I was in again wasn't having it. He's like, oh, you have to report upstairs. We have to call your parents, da, da, da. Now, this is where the problem for my parents came in. About half an hour, hour later, his mom arrives. Now, his mom is talking really crazy to me. But now, I'm dolo by myself. I'm in the classroom. I guess she sees me before she gets to the office. So, I don't have no parent. My parent's not there. It just so happened they didn't call my parents. So, now my parents are slipping when they found out. Like, now, mm -mm -mm. again, with the police contact. And again, with my father having to tell this lady. Now, at this point, we have to tell this lady, oh, keep your son in check. Because if my daughter keep whipping his ass, you might want to get him some fighting lessons. Or you might put a dress on him. Because if you're going to keep disrespecting people, you're going to like, put that in check. I understand. Yes. Yes. Let me not say that I was right for putting my hands on this boy. But I'm not going to let anybody disrespect me. The first time I was wrong for, I should have minded my business. Even though that was my friend, I should have minded my business. But the second time, you tried to assault me. So I didn't try. I whipped your ass. And I didn't get in trouble for it because I wasn't wrong for it. So, that's my little story time. I don't really, like, the story was kind of everywhere. Because it's, like, kind of far back. But, yeah, like... I have a lot. Let me know if y'all like my story time. I got a lot more stories that, like, y'all would be crying, laughing at. But I hope you guys enjoy. Don't think I'm too gangsta. I'm still, like, pretty girl pool. Like, you know. Y'all still love me, right? <laughs> Alright. I have something I want to tell you.